voice will cry what it is yeah. What is the plan? Yeah. Let's do this one more time The angels bow down in adoration We join them now as we lift the voice We cry what it is yeah. What is the plan? for the administration. Let's put our hands together to honor them, please. Your hands to honor them. Hallelujah. We give God the praise. Father, we bow down before your throne this morning. We say thank you for the gift of life. We return our glory back unto you, O God. Accept our praises this morning in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I welcome us this morning for the uh, to this second, I mean, to this first service, the second Sunday in the year, I mean, the second Sunday in the month of May in year 2023. Our God has been so good to us. He has been the faithful Father, our keeper, our rock, our shield, our backbone, the one who has always been there for us. And with that, shall we please put our hands together once again to honor our Maker, not the choir now. Let's honor your Maker, honor your own Maker. The one who make it possible for you to be among the living. Praise the Lord. We give him all the glory and all the honor and all the adoration. May his name be praised forever in Jesus' name. I welcome you to this first service. I pray the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. We welcome those online for joining us this morning. I pray the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. This morning again, God is here to bless us. He has promised that he will never leave us. Uh, like, an, you know, as an orphan. He won't leave us to ourselves. He will be there to take care of us, to care for us. And this morning again, God has dished out his word. And I believe that as well. Pass it across to you. May you be healed by the word this morning in Jesus' name. May the Lord change our life, you know, and turn it around for good in Jesus' name. So you are welcome. As we go on on this uh, topic this morning, Still on the same topic we've been treating for some time. This is the part five of demonic strategy to rob you of your destiny. Demonic strategy to, to rob you of your destiny. And we want to look at some other aspects. We've been, you know, we've treated the part one, part two, part three. We'll let you know what the, the destiny is all about. What the devil wants to rob you of. How he wants to make it happen. We've been able to show you in part one. Also in part two, we'll show you uh, some of the things uh, we need to take care of, taking care of our parents, taking care of <clears throat> our ourselves, taking care of everything that needs to do about all or about us until when we get to part five. And this morning we'll be taking something else that we don't can't, we don't see it as something very important, and it's robbing us of our destiny. Gradually we are, we are losing it and we don't really understand, we don't really take uh, precautions. We don't really know because I would say some are ignorant of it. By the time I open our eyes to it, we will understand what we are saying this morning. And in our teaching, we'll be looking at what we call stinginess. Stinginess. How is it possible for the devil to be robbing us, robbing us of our destiny through this word that we call stinginess? What the Bible say about it and how it affects us. I want us to look at it from the dictionary meaning before we go to the, to the uh, in-depth of it this morning. I first check what stinginess is all about. And the first point that showed us says a lack of generosity. A lack of generosity. What is stinginess? A lack of generosity. A lack of generosity. And it says... The Oxford Dictionary also explains stingy person as one who is unwilling to spend, who is unwilling to share, who is unwilling to give. The Oxford 
uh, dictionary explain a stingy person as one who is unwilling to spend, unwilling to share, and unwilling to give. And we want to look at what the Bible says and we are going to read it together. I believe we have it on the screen. Let's have the book of Proverbs 11 verse 24. That will be our first scriptural passage for this service. Proverbs 11 24. Proverbs 11 24. Stinginess. What does the Bible say about it? As we have it on the screen. Is it there? Because I can't see anything in front of me. Do we have anything like that on the screen? Okay, they are still trying to rectify the thoughts. that has been like that for some time now. Let's rise up with our Bible with us. Let's read it to honor our maker, our God, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Okay, let's do that quickly. Let's rise up. Proverbs 11.24. Proverbs 11.24. I would love us reading it together so that we can have deeper understanding of what we are reading. Proverbs 11.24. Okay, we are going to read after the count of three, one, two, three, and let's go together. There is that scatter it and yet increase it. And there is that with oil, with oil more than is meat, meat. Okay, but it tender it to poverty. Let's go again. One, two, three, and let's go. There is that that scatter it and yet increase it. And there is that do what with oil, but more than is met he said but it tendered to poverty do we have any other version that explain better because this one is king james and you know king james is a very powerful uh, scripture any other one i have one here it says it's from message bible it says the word of the generous gets larger and larger the word of the stingy gets smaller and smaller that's message bible any other scriptural passage apart from these two anyone with any other uh uh version anyone with other version it says anyone anyone before we sit down okay okay hmm? okay mm -hmm. In want any other version okay go on ma one man give freely he gains even more or another we told unduly and comes to poverty we may we not come into poverty in jesus name father we ask that this morning you grant unto us understanding of your word in jesus name that at the end of today's teaching both the adults, both the young ones, we shall all have understanding and be filled with your word in Jesus' name. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise God. Let's have a seat. It's a powerful word from what we've read this morning. The book of Proverbs 11, 24. You know, we, at times we just read scriptures. Sometimes we read it as, it's a reading for reading's sake. They ask us to read it. But you know, when we sit down and meditate dearly on what the passage that we have been led to read, do you know we have, we gain more understanding of it. When I was reading this particular portion, portion this morning, I read one that said, one man with two head, he said, oh, we two all day, all the little in his hand. And he came back, he, he, uh, he came back into poverty. He said, but once scattered it. And he came back with many. And from where we read in the book of, I mean, in MSG, I love that one so much. It says, the word of the generous gets larger and larger. And the word of the stingy gets smaller and smaller. This is scriptural passage. We've seen it from the dictionary and we've seen the. And let's now look at what the Yoruba people say. In the Yoruba, they will say, okay, ni And one man, the, one of our, uh, uh, will I call him a politician in those days? said something he when they are saying why are you getting richer every time why is your prosperity much why is god blessing you more and more and he took the hand of the person that was interviewing him he said bring your hand he now do as if he wanted to give that man something he said bring your hand the, the person gave him the uh, his own hand he now put his own part you know like now i put my hand on the second hand this is the hand of the person that is interviewing 
He now put his own hand on it. He now asked the man, whose hand is on top? He said, your own. He said, that is how givers, their hand will always be on top. You know, it's a, it's a general law that whether you are a Christian or Muslim, whether you, are, you don't know God, it, by the time I come down, you will understand what this thing is all about. Because I noticed that in the Christian dome, we are having issues. And we begin to blame ourselves, ask questions. Why am I not blessed? Why is it things I'm... The unbelievers are getting richer and richer every day. I want to show us from this particular scripture why the devil is robbing us of our destiny. And carelessly, we are looking at it is going out of our hands. I want us to look at something. Looking carefully at the verse... We have just read, it will be proper to say that stinginess is the devil's strategy to keep us small and far from the purpose of God for our lives. Somebody will say, I don't believe it. But I will show you as we go on this morning. The reason is because the devil knows that the principle of giving is a universal law. As I was saying before, that God established for harvest to flow. The devil knows that it's a universal. And that's the reason why we kept asking ourselves questions. Why is the unbeliever getting richer? And we that we are in the Christian fold, we don't understand what is going on. This is the secret. It's a universal law. And from the book of Genesis, let's look at it. The book of Genesis chapter 8 verse 22. I wish we can have it on the screen, please. Please, it will be so easy for our people to understand. Do whatsoever you are doing fast. And let it be easy, please. Genesis chapter 8 and verse 22. Genesis 8 22. He says, why the earth remains, seed time and harvest. I want you to look at that scripture. If that Bible is yours, look at it very well. Seed time and harvest. And cold and heat. And summer and winter. And day and night shall not cease. What do you see there? The first one says, why the earth remains, the seed time and harvest. Look at it. The seed time and harvest. And cold and heat. And summer and winter. And day and night shall not cease. That means wherever seed is planted, harvest has been determined. And look at that scripture very well. You will discover that seed time and harvest is what the Bible says. Look at the first point. Why they are to remain it? Seed time and harvest. Not seed time and harvest time. They didn't put time at the back of the harvest. It's only harvest. That means, that means your time of harvest is already with your seed. As you are planting it, the, the harvest is, is there. Not the time. If you plant, it must germinate. It's a law from the Bible. And also, it's a universal law. That when you plant something, it must germinate. Oh, I'm, 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 It means your time of, of harvest is already with your seed. The stingy person is indirectly affecting his own life negatively and making it smaller. When you are a stingy person, you are actually telling your word, remain small. But when you sow, I will explain because somebody will be saying maybe they are going to, to raise it. No. I'm trying to explain why we are being robbed of our blessing. Why we are being robbed of financial, you know, uh, blessing that God declared upon us. As a believer, when you give your life to Christ, things are supposed to be changing for good. Not to be going the other way around. And somebody will be asking, I have given my life to Jesus so, 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 yes. I am so, 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 I'm so things like this before. I, but do you know that you coming to, the, to, to Christ, you should have better understanding. 
Because everything about the world, everything that God created, eh, everything that needs to do about you is in the Bible. See, God is ever faithful. He said when there is a seed time, there should be an harvest, not harvest time. But why are people stingy? Why believers are still being robbed of their destiny? Because of, can you, is it possible for somebody to be stingy and being robbed of his, his or her destiny? I want to answer it this morning. And the first thing we'll be looking at is number one. Some are stingy because they think or believe that they do not have what to give. Why are some people stingy? Number one, some believe they don't have anything to give. I don't have money. I don't have what to give people. Okay, they are talking about the devil, demonic power, robbing one of one's destiny. How can it? And they say stinginess is part of it. Ah, I'm stingy because I don't have. You know when somebody asks, is that not the answer? But I want you to know this morning, from as we go on in this teaching, that there is nobody here or now that does not have something. What you think you don't have, what you think is small, is little, I cannot give out of it. If some people should have it, they will celebrate. Praise the Lord. Can this be true? That you don't have something? The answer is no. You have. In fact, there is nobody that does not have something. You have something. But you kept you saying, I don't have. And that's the reason why I cannot give much. I, I wrote some examples and some testimonies here this morning. I won't mention them, but I will show you some of the things I've encountered in the little years I've been here on earth. The problem is just that they do not see what they have as something. People are stingy because they believe I don't have. Me o nini. Mushala in nini konton sonye ni. They won't raise seed in the church. Me o nini. They will say, I don't have. Kosini. Olong gori kwe kani mo nini. I'll be able to give. But I want you to know this morning that you have something. If you look at the story, of the Shunammite, I mean, the, 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 the widow of Sarabat. Let me use the, uh, as the first example this morning. In the book of 1 King, chapter, chapter 17, from verse 10 to 16. 1 King, chapter 17, verse 10 to 16. 1 King, 17, 10 to 16. It says, from, let's start from 10. It says, so he arose and went to Sarabat. And when he came to the gate of the city, behold... The widow, the, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks. And he called to her and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. And as she was going to fetch it, he called to her and said, And a little, sorry, and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, 
high and I, 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 he says, I, I, I am gathering uh, two sticks that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat it and die. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do as, as thou hast said, but make me therefore a little cake first and bring it unto me. And after, make for thee and for thy son. Somebody will say, ah, ah, what if, what if, what, what, what if, what if, a very a selfish man of God. He says in verse 14, for thus hear the Lord, God of Israel, the barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of oil fail until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah. And she and her, and he and her house did eat many days. And the barrel of meal wasted not, neither did the cruise of hell of, of oil fail according to the word of the Lord, which is spake by Elijah. Hmm. If you look at this scriptural passage, you see, she did in verse 15. She was still willing to share when she knew that all she had was just a handful of flour. A more handful of flour. Those of us who are mothers here, who are female, even if you want to make eba, can one handful of eba, can it be enough? Somebody said, I have just a handful. And God's servant said, from that handful of flour, go and make for me first. Before you make for your son and yourself. And the Bible says she went. She said, okay, let me first do what God said I should do. He says, as she was going, the word of God followed her and said unto her, said unto you, woman, woman, a widow, as you are going, the Lord said, as you are bringing out of that pot, it will never run dry. Your oil will never go down. And the Bible makes us to understand that so it was. Till God sent rain on the land, she kept bringing from that pot. Stinginess can, can destroy so many things. And so many don't look at it as something. Who believe that? Allah only pay me. She must be a tea worker. She was still willing to share when she knew that all she had was nothing but a, a, a what? A handful of flour and a little oil. Yet, she was ready to share with the man of God. Imagine what God, what God used to change her life for good. Stop thinking you don't have. You have something no matter how small it is. No matter how small it is. Don't ever look at yourself and say, Ah, me o ni ngo ti mo le fun o. Along God, ikbe ko sin ko kon. Along God, ikbe ko sin ko. The more you are confessing it, the more it is coming to pass in your life. And that's the reason why so many are still on the floor. People in young guy that why, Ah, me o, along God, ikbe mi ni. You are in a group, everybody is saying, Let's give so and so and so. Along God, ikbe mi o ni. Even the little that you said you, you, you have. Yeah, out of it, bring it out. You will see how God will be blessing it. From where we read, he said, someone that has much, the Bible says he had more than enough. But in Tony K, the Bible says, with that small one that is with told him, poverty will continue to be knocking. She could need to move here. That you, if you say you don't have, I don't have, I don't have, one man body well, ah, I don't have for a long request me only. Tama I don't have a long request me only. When do you want to have? As you are confessing it, so shall it begin to come to pass. And that's the reason why we should be careful with our confession. You have something, no matter how small it is. Look at what happened to in the book in the Bible. The Bible said they let ten, ten we are healed. 
And after they finished healing them, all of them went. The Bible said, ah, they were cleansed. Ah, ah, only was shown. I think we're okay. Only for them to come back and to come and say thank you. The one, one among them came back among ten. He said, Father, I just came and said I should come and say thank you. That is what he had. That's what he had. He came back to come and tell Jesus, Jesus, I don't have money to give you, but I want to say thank you. Thank you for what you have done in my life. If not because you healed me, how will I be able to stand before you now? I won't be able to enter into the, to the city, talk less of the, of the sanctuary of the Lord. He came back to thank him. How many of us, after they've done a great help to us, we used to go back and say thank you. I was listening to this great servant of God, Selma. He was speaking. He said, somebody send you a charge, a recharge card. I said, hey, need a recharge card to fool me. No common thank you. Ah, you are closing your door for the bigger one. No matter the or it, anybody, but she could get in words, you know, send back thank you for your gift. You are asking for more. You are saying, I don't have Oh, the reason why so many of us don't have is because even the little that God has done, we refuse to thank him for it. You know, some people say, Ah, Lord, you see it. Ah, Lord, you see it. Ah, Lord, you see it. As we are talking, as we are talking, one are talking, one go to Adio, yo. You will see that most moji oju nkan to nsan pe mo kan dijo e pe mo kan sun die orun die yen e lo mi nwa kori e lo mi nwa orun won ba mo kan lai pe mo se wa church orun de gbe mi lo se mo pe e lo mi la ju sile for more than 2 years by ti oro orun sun somebody call my husband you know about few months ago and say pastor gba mi pastor gba mi ko ye mi nkan to nse won un mo ha won o le diju bai fun lati bi osu meji Imagine, a joke in your mama shell is not a senior guarani book book. Come, mama, she what are you being? Can you give me? He alone was she, but most moji. Ah, he won't learn where go sorrow. Who are not those who have stroke? They will tell you what it takes to talk. I was in a place one treat and Tony stroke, Lenu Cole sorrow. Only back, only better boy, no more. To what if I saw by it all on down. Murupe, you don't know what we are talking about. Have you ever wake up in the morning and say, ah, Oluwa, oh, she go, ah, she go, ah, ah, Oluwa, Ibanu, je, ah, go to sing, go to affect, je, la, ro, oh, she, she, lenu, to, le, fi, son, oh, she, lock, on, la, ti, son, you, don't be an ungrateful person. Somebody will say, me, oni, ko, kon, fun, on, lon, lock, way. You know, some of us will say, to, ri, kwe, mi, oni, ni, mi, she, le, fun, on, lon, o, 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 in, ko, to, ko, ni, do, do, ko, ni, a, o, ri, ba, to, ba, mo, re, o, ba, mo, re, ba, mba, ko, ba, mo, ko, to, bi, wa, I want to show what on my one baba. Some of us are to my majors. Keep out alone. You do a rabba to do it. Don't go so close. I don't know. I'm not going to say you're lying. Ah, my lie, Mori. When I saw that message from Selma, since that day, any small act of goodness, I say thank you. Only you are asking for more, more, more. Ori, any yema wu. And you see around one when you are before a king, maybe I don't know whether you've been to a palace before. When they are praising the king, praising the king, you go to your coach, you know, same thing is applicable to our God and to human being. If human being can be behaving like that, what about your God? My Allah, Mori, give thanks. Either in act, in giving anything, give thanks. And also you to share. My Allah, Mori. I sent a message on WhatsApp. When I saw it, one of our mothers in faith said, Only sure of her, I like more. Only I like more, do I get Only they are evil. Only one man, but lady, you are one way. I get when you man, you know. And I caught that. I said, oh, It's true. But John Jay, you know, do pay. But for a lot of me, do pay. Master, we owe me, owe me, the listing, owe me. Ah, we are wanting only for you to join. We told you we don't form drip on under us in one lara. And that's the reason why you should give. Th- in all things, give thanks. I have a sister in our midst here. It, she has never allowed me to. I'm selling all those things, oh, but she never allowed me to buy it. 
her life used to touch me. And I used to talk to my husband. I said, Father, anytime she needs anything in life. And God has been answering my prayer. Anytime she needs help, help used to come through my hands. Let her just send me and say, Mama, so so and so so thing is needed. I will look for it. Because what is sure it don't pour. Every time she buys new goods, she will come, Mama. Only if you go get handbag, eh? Ni oko kwa wanda yesi she will come, Mama. I know if you can take one out of it, I will. The Lord will bless this business and it will prosper. I will now be smiling and say, Oh, oh, spoto wambe o kwa ni Mama she ani esha me yoko. Eh yoko ni udu mami ni no. Okay, I will say, Okay, no problem. I will take small thing from it and say, The Lord bless the remaining. And it has been like that. Toba wa at the age of eleven thirty. The Bible says, Kakakolo re koji si koto. Kini kini yoba kwe. I want you to learn put Yoruba and the Bible. Ha, one song koko. Even naturally, dictionary explain it. Oni kakakolo re koji si koto. Oni mono mona ya no shishe ni. Oti fe kese one way. The lightning will come and say, see. Oti fe ji si koto. That is how powerful giving is. Don't be a stingy person. So she, at times she will come. In fact, of recent, they give I, I pray, we pray and pray and God answer that prayer. They, they issue her a kind of huge loan. She went to market and get all the things they say, all the things she needs in, in her shop. Only for her to come. As she was coming from the market, we have service that day. She came and she came with the bag, a full, full of all the different things. She put it on the floor. Mama Muni. We say she one left. Oh, she 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 her confidence was much. When I asked her, she said, Mama, I'm always true. A million naira. Lani, how many more? What do you motivate? She told Mama. Money bullets, you know, who don't want more? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, she had me see. Too much if I want your money and come back, I want my wife. Too much if I want. That is God for you. In, in it. Somebody call her from abroad. Mola, what goods do you want to sell in Nigeria? Can you help me sell it? That is how I will speak. You know, I begin, and I begin to wonder, my wife's not phone call me when we get home. Say, what kind of a person is this woman? She, she's on loan. She's still giving. Man of God, she my son on here. And when I ask her, when she asked her, I said, I went back to my wife and I said, Oti fair, son, when you that is God for you. Don't be a stingy person. He's robbing you of your destiny. Oh no, ni le la. He won't be to dani shoti to. You believe that it's small. It's nothing. I remember my mentor. She was telling us something. One of our, our meeting. He said, you have not given me anything. You are expecting something from me. I don't do it. I was looking at her. I said, mommy, my guru. Oh, you know, if you have not given me anything, why will I give you something? I'm sowing my seed. Though I don't sow much to those on the floor, I sow for those who are higher. He said, but the little I'm sowing for those who are lower, it must yield. The Bible said, there is seed time and harvest. So if the harvest is not coming from me, I won't sow to you, what's your direction again? Ah, I was now like, oh, you are here, another level. Only yes, there is a woman in our church. Even she's selling tomatoes. And when you don't talk to me, tomati. Every time she come back from market, she will look for good one to do dada and send it to the office. So every time the PA will come and say, Mommy, to not get a lot of mama, muti law, muti wano, freezer, muti bo. Okay. He said one time, she now came on the altar, she was praying, she was crying. That she now told, she called one of her PA and said, Go and, go and check on her. Ask her what is doing now. You know, so many of us, we used to be angry with us. So she sent a go and use time to ask what is going on. It was the PA that now said, they, they, they've quit her from her house. They, they've sold the house. And they said they should leave. They gave them few days to park. And she does not have anywhere to go. Only yes, they say, Mama, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm
mommy ni eh she does not have anywhere to go mo ti je ate ah she must not be stranded e lo pe wa fun mi ko lo wa ni le to ba mo ko wa convenient fun then let me know let me pay her and that was her she was surprised o won she to lo wa yara ko won mommy said no 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 go go and look for a good place mo ti je ate several yemi ati baba ti je nu ata e awon won se a je won eni ma yen ni she said and that was how she she see today eh she will come with ata ata yen ti won ko ja normal you know as god is blessing her she too is doing it because ko mo pe ata yen le mu o le mu orin le you know some women of us say i don't have anything kini mu nta epo epo is something Even if it's like you give somebody, as you are giving, God is bringing back. Not only to God's ministers, I will show you those you are to give uh, gifts to. And stop thinking you don't have. You have something, no matter how small it is. Learn to sow seed everywhere you go. Don't love free things. Man like in coffee, kosha mamua, come mamua, come mafumi, come mafumi. And that's the reason one of the things have God have helped me to be able to 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 do if it go go ile ko e fi po tin laye If you don't give me that thing I won't go home with it Come up come come call me I will not call them that et it for me o se igberaga But the point is I am satisfied with the little tebe ti for me e mo pe awon binin lo party ko won ma ru eru bo nle mo ma hate is kini yen laye mi o lati kekere ni You are not coming on. Rice it in one thing we the pamo lo bi tin mo lo ma wa ma gbe bon le. I hate it. And one of that's one of the reason why I don't like some of my family member. I don't like them for that. In bitan, ki lo de ton ko eru wale. E wa ma won mo rice oni rice. I want you to bare ko won je rice. E wa ma won me 3 days, 4 days ki lo de. Ki tin ko e to e. I won ni ko tu ma fa won yan. And that is the reason why poverty is still in the church. like free things free things leave you handicap and when what is what you have is not enough so out of it this is kingdom secret if what you have in your hand is not enough so have made that as my own lifestyle i have i could remember when i told us during the workers meeting i was preparing for you know to renovate one of my shops and i was having it what can i do to this place i carry what i have in the shop i said me tin ni all my people were asking mama what will not be on the floor i said carry it to church help me to cut it put it on the altar god that sees that i don't have will know how to make a way and like play like play come up with two weeks i saw it this week the following week the harvest came and i was able to do what i that is even more than what i gave to the lord second corinthians chapter 9 verse 6 to 10 says what uh, whatever whatever you sow is what will come back to you is what you will reap and don't forget in the book of luke chapter 6 verse 38 a command quote here luke chapter 6 verse 38 a con quote here we don't really know what the meaning he said give and it shall be given back unto you in good measure to ba to ba so she the same seed here you control so no no matter no he say in good measure look at it say give and it shall be given unto you good measure pressed down one press here akun shaking together one want to make kun dada and it will run over he say shall make give unto your bosom for with what the same measure that you made with all it shall be measured to you again in kon to ba fun won wa wa be trin mo le Aku aku yawo, aku sile, ada sile nwe, and that is the grace. I personally, I can testify to it that I'm enjoying. Stop saying you don't have. Don't be a stingy person. It will rob you of your destiny. Hallelujah. So some. And I, I, I've, I've been able to show you the first point why some people are stingy. They believe that they don't have enough. Me need so. How long will it pay me only? Move your car, be come by any. Verse six thirty-eight. Okay, we've been able to to reach you. Can you give me Second Corinthians chapter nine, verse six to ten? 
2 Corinthians 6 to 10. Can we quickly read it so that I can pick one or two points from there also? 2 Corinthians 9, verse 6 to 10. Okay, he said, But this, this I say, he who swear, he who swear sparingly shall re- also reap what? He said, And which you swear bountifully shall also reap bountifully. If you sow small things, small things will come back. I used to use with confidence to say, Who sin cannot immediately for long. And that was the reason why it came up. He said, every man according as he proposed in his heart. In Koto of So let him give. Kill of You know, sometimes you say, Oh Lord, we will pay money to give you. In Koto of Fenin, you are so early. My mother, in, my mother in the Lord will say, Whatsoever I have not given to God, I cannot wear it as clothes. And I make it a, my own lifestyle too. And it has been, I was talking, I didn't even know I'm going to preach throughout this direction this morning. I was telling somebody a few days ago, I said, well, yeah, I hate it. I don't like people saying, I hate such people. I hate them. If you are like that, you can't move with me. The person was looking at me. There was some of my husband came out and said, I 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 said, I'm passionate about it. Anybody to buy money, come swim on me. My jealous she ain't you. And you can leave if you because we are co sharing on me. If I'm giving and you are not giving, go. You are just taking from me. I don't want it around me. And that is my style, the style of my mentor. She will tell you if I cannot give, don't move closer to me. Because I am a giver and I can give anything to the Lord. Share with last one. I I'm here. I saw Toti Shemi. Yes, as a pastor's wife, for how many years? As a as a woman. There are so many things I don't know how the thing disappear. That me myself will not be asking. Kill Paul Lucy Lono. If I am more experienced, can I come here? Oh my Lord, give us don't sink. I told us during the workers' meeting. If you give, oh, 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 some decided to be stingy because they feel offended. Some feel what? Offended. They harbor offense in their heart. Some, some of them feel used by the way they were treated. So they decided to stop giving. Some people say, want you, buy, want you, want you wound your heart to me? Yes. Why be they wound in your Why be they love me? But those doesn't stop me from giving. I've given to the SM one day my husband was angry. Why do you have to give much? Why do you spend so much? But what do you let you know? And why my corner see me nearly? So he was hungry too. He said, Why do you have to spend all the money? Give me, give me what you fall alone. Don't you go come to battle your loan? He will know how to pay me back. Alone will king gem when you come on yenny. And your lonely gem when you come on yenny, father. But alone, go in shebella ye. Go back in go to bath for my father. A try ye. Some have a offense in their heart and says, Ah, Moshefu, what they did not return it. Matthew 20, 25, 24 to 25. Matthew 25, 24 to 25. Then he, then he which had, had received the one talent, came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art a hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathered where thou hast not, hast, hast not strayed. 25. And I was afraid and went and hid thy talent in the heart. Lo, dear thou as that is thine. Only down, can't for me, brother. You want to reap where you, you did not so. That's why you gave me that thing. He was offended. The response of this man shows that he was angry with his boss. He felt used and he decided to stop laboring for his master to, re- to receive harvest. But he suffered at the end. Beloved, stop looking at this attitude of people when you are practicing the principle of giving. Do not allow them to deprive you of your reward. People can make you feel stupid when you give. Something happened and one of our brothers, he came, jejeli, said somebody asked for money. He wants to get so and so vehicle. I said, okay, can, can I borrow them? And we, we said, go ahead, go and do it. Do you know that as I'm talking to you, sometimes they will come, they will give him 55,000. They will give him 2,000. And I told my husband, I said, Can you see? This man now, if they should ask for anything from him, will he give them? 
you have stirred the heart of your, your, somebody that helps you. Please. My shiru in your bed. And me, why you that you are sewing? Don't say because, ah, I won't share me, I won't share what do me. I will not do it again. God will not release his grace. Are you not more than that now? More than that, but any year, don't she be on for a matu bambo me. And that's the reason why you should not stop giving. Don't stop doing good to people. Number three, why some people are stingy? Some are stingy because they just they they, they, they are just selfish. Selfish. Me, myself, and I. I can't give what belongs to me to anybody. And that's the reason why you are suffering, why you are you are facing this favor. Some are stingy because they are selfish. Selfish people are those that concentrate only on themselves. Selfishness will disqualify us from being part of the disciple of Jesus Christ because Christianity is centered on love for God. For God, for ourselves, and for our neighbors. Matthew 22, 37 to 39. Matthew 22, 37 to 39 says, Jesus says unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. And the second, like unto, and, and, and verse 29 and 39 say, And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I came up with this principle the other time. I said, I can't love my neighbor more than myself. Whatsoever I can do to myself is what I will do to my neighbor. I won't go out of my means. You know, some of us will go out of our means and we, when we are get betrayed, we feel, oh God, oh God, don't do more than what your capacity can carry. But for God, go, go extreme. Human being will remain woman, but God is ever faithful. But woman being can do that, but if you do, if you do, Eh? Do well for people and go extreme and give and kill yourself. It doesn't make them to come back to your burial, eh, Kenny, after burial, to come and be helping you to wash your, your graveyard. If you come at this, don't tell see what he law. But it's only God. Ah, ah, let me go back and help. So that's the reason why more to God. And even the Bible says to God first before your neighbors. And number four, why some people are, are, are stingy. Some are stingy ignorantly. They were not taught. This will get their, I mean, this, they will get their liberation the moment they are taught. Some people are not taught, but if you are not taught, you understand. So you don't need anybody to, to ask you for you that you as they are giving, you should give back. If you are not taught, you are you are being taught this morning, whether you are listening to me online or you are on, on site here, give and it shall be given back unto you. So with these four points, I believe we can go back home, check your life. In what area have you been robbed of your destiny? Go and go and put those areas into place, and the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Let's look at the last question that says, What and who? Are we instructed as children of God to give to? Who are those we should, we should be given to? I've shown you some during the course of this teaching. But here I have about four points. Number one, we are instructed to give to God and to the things of God. As I've been saying before, Exodus 34 verse 20. But the first thing of an ox, thou shalt redeem with a lamb. And if thou redeem him not, then shalt thou break his neck. All the firstborn of thy son thou shalt redeem, and none shall appear before me empty. Now, some of us will say, I don't have. I don't have. As God is blessing me, I'm changing my offering. That I saw that online and I started using that. I begin to do as He's blessing me, I'm increasing. We are instructed to give to God and the things of God. The erased seed come out. Don't say I don't have. Come out with one million. My mentor will say, if you have hundred thousand, come out. My joko, because if you told joko, you only have one million. You have to do my override. They told my name two million, and you are still celebrating your hundred thousand. Do for God, and God will do back in. Don't wait and say, ah, Bob, I don't like seeing it. They know me. At times, I used to be angry. 
with some of our people that want. I say, Kimi, Tijo, let's go and look for how to fix it. This one, go share that. I want my camera. Somebody will be looking at me and say, to roja ya pastor. It has been my passion right from the beginning. And God is blessing me for it. And number two, we are instructed to care for his servants. Philippians chapter 4, verse 18 to 19. Philippians 4, 18 to 19. But I have all and I abound. I am full. Having received of Ephraphadios Ephra the things which we are sent from you, an odor of a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well pleasing to God. Verse 19. But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. You know that's the only face we used to pick. But my God shall supply all my God will not supply your need if you don't do. I will be told him, but now, you know, at times we just speak a verse from the scripture and we'll be quoting it. The Lord will. I will be told him, better. If they, they first gave and the man now, the man of God now pray for them. He be giving us that in your arm, I throw it down. But God will supply my need. He may not. But I have all and I, and I bank. I am full and I've received the gift you sent to me. An order of a Swiss man, a sacrifice acceptable, well pleasing to God. If you give any gift to God, Sarah, you are actually not giving directly to the person, you are giving it to God. And that was why I came up with the venison, a minimum razor or venison. Because it is actually working for me. I saw it with my mentor, my mother in the Lord, who used with all her mouth to say. Well, if I, I suppose not to say it on, on the line because sometimes they watch us. They all And the husband said, I saw you in Homer. Ah, who they find gone? Is that what you want? He said, That was my first experience of going to KICC. And I said, Share Fanny Bishop, a lonely. He said, Lord Berry, can you come? Can you come? Ah, boy, I have Susan and Susan among with me. Okay. He said, She gave the check they gave her, Elofira. Before she can even ride on that, Elma, one call come along, take your permission. It has happened several in my presence. I call her, Bishop, share a more money. I want to know that I told my Some of us are so we can't we can't do such. But when I, I saw that in her, I started pumping it on God's servant. Tell me fish up. You know, some of us I used to say it on high. Some of us who are pastors, we don't really know how valuable the God's servant that is beside us. We treat them as trash. And that's the reason why the blessing of God will not come on you. And I will still say it to again today online. You are a pastor, you look down on the man, but she looked down on him. You know, at times my husband will come out here and say, My wife, I've never looked up and said this. And yes, I did not see him as an, because my mentor said, We should see ourselves as widows. You marry a pastor, you are not married to him. You are child. The reason why she said so is because some of you, the way you are treating our husband, being a pastor, you we dare not do that to your husband. You will be angry. You may be with our husband 24-7. I have seen some, sometimes we may be together. They will call. He will leave me and go. But can your husband leave you and say, Obini, come with me. Obini, she, hey, me fair, yeah, That's why she said we should convert it to like that. Now, what can you do? So we've seen it. To those of us who understand it, we are living by it and we are prospering. Go servant cannot just be step on. You know, times you come and this, I have never allowed him to buy all those things. I pop one more, more man chain. King Tora and Kwayo confront me, Matera be metaphor. Kawa will be a grace in your only work. It's a rock. Before I even say it out, the provision will come. Topati Jacob of Fair and Confu, the provision will come. I begin to wonder what kind of a person is this man? Before I think it, God will have, he want me to keep buying. So I would start, I, I, I continue to do it. You know, the kilo will share for me to move him out. I'm going to call you. What he call her? I'm saying it. He will not be. Able to, he may go back to the, to go and watch this video anyway. But I'm telling you, I see God. I see grace tapping from Him. Quickly, we have. I just have two minutes to quickly finish this. Number two. Okay, I've been able to say we are instructed to care for His servant. Number three, we are instructed to give to the poor, the fatherless. Proverbs nineteen seventeen. Proverbs nineteen seventeen. He that has Ask pity upon the poor, lend it unto the Lord, and that which he has given all 
he pay him again? Look at it. Pro, Proverbs 19.17. Proverbs 19.17. He that has pity upon the poor, lend them unto the Lord. And that which he has given, a little city, will he pay him again? As you are giving to the poor, but she, do you know, sometimes we may not know how it will come back, but we'll see that, ah, okay, God, okay, God, this mountain is heaven, I cannot climb it. You will see yourself that, ah, by the time you get up, you now look at yourself at the, uh, the down floor. How did I get up? See the alone shit. Hallelujah. And number three, we are instructed to, okay, we are instructed to give to the poor. I've been able to say that. You give to the fatherless, you give to the widows. You assist the widows. Not that you will, you will be, keep giving them. All the people that used to come and be begging, hey, Joe, hey, Shanumi, hey, sh go and walk, oh. You are listening to me here, you are online. People cannot continue to give you. You to give out of what they are giving you. I give to the widow and I tell them, go and walk. Especially young widows. I don't allow them to clap around me and I don't have fellowship for them. I'm only giving them gifts according to the scripture. Because if I have fellowship for widows, widows will be much. So I don't have fellowship. I don't have fellowship for single sister, so that single sister will not be much in this church. Do you understand? I don't have fellowship for our waiting mothers, so that our waiting mothers will not be much in this church. Because in Gokin Kotoba Gada, Loma, my multiply. Are you getting my point? So some people are angry. Oh, you need pray special prayer for our waiting mother. I, we don't have it here. Oh, fair come out, Pussini. Come on now, don't wait upon God. I want to go back to our church. You know, I'm be by. I want to widow see I come across if you are going to God's power evangelical mission. But I give to the poor, I give to the needy, I give to the fatherless. Especially, I, I purposely I used to go there. I don't want my children to be mother to be father and motherless. I give to them so that God can release His blessing on me. You can confess good things. And number four, we are instructed to give to our parents. I've said that during the course of this uh, message. Give to your parents. Beloved, it is important you know that giving is a great principle that makes giver never to be disappointed. It makes them to enjoy the op operation of God will keep giving. God will give blessing if you keep giving unto, unto people. And please don't forget, if you're offended, I've been there before. You're offended that you have been giving and people are not giving. Especially when, I, when, I, when I've been the one helping some of our, our children here. That some parents don't know. So at times when I see when I see some people and I say well, they ignore when it is time for my own children, I got offended. I went to my mentor. I said, Mommy, I won't cancel anybody again. Me, you cancel more in your kokomo. Because if they see my own child, my children going to ditch, they don't call them back. One duro cash conscious see me. My, my mentor said, Ha, ah, Pastor MC, no. Ah, yeah, she heard me because I was crying. I said, one time my daughter faced some challenges. They believe. They believe the second person. They were, they were against my, my own. My, my mentor heard me tight. He said, no, no, don't stop it. Don't stop believing that. I said, it's a pain. My, my daughter nearly fell into a, a problem. And I make up my mind, I'm not going to do it for anybody. He said, don't stop it. You will see when God will show up. And when God show up, I was dazed. It's not even part of those who are here. Those from outside. You know, some of us, we stop doing some good things. Because some people break our heart. They do some things to us. So we decided, I'm not going to do it. But if it's alone, it's song for me. Who do you want to hear me go low? Is it in this one that is the, the result is how people have started standing? How when you're seeing the hero, hero, and Pastor Epademy, he be by Pastor Sheba, Pastor Sheba, people started rising up. I'm a Jacob Sheba, he be low magba, or low magba. People started calling. I used to tell our mothers anytime we are having interactive session that please do good. Show my good time one jelly me. Is what our parents have done in the past. Anything you are doing now is for the future for your children. One of us said, ah, oh, any small thing you give my mother, my mother will take it to the church. I said, ah, if you are not here, you will not be here. 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 So many of us, we see ourselves that Timothy Lord, no, by, oh, she, the parents have done, they've done, they've helped you to load the cloud. You are just walking freely. Please, load the cloud for your children. 
Don't be angry. Oh. It was when she now explained things to me. I said, okay, I understand. Because I'm troubled. I don't have mother that can say all this. Thank God I have mother in Christ. And I'm preaching it to you today. If you have been battered. And that's the reason why you stop giving. Please, don't stop it. I was encouraged. I'm encouraging you too. You know, pastors, some of us used to come online. We'll be saying, we are perfect. We are like Jesus. Irony. I must tell you my weakness so that you'll be able to know that we are not superman. We are not superwoman. We also hear. And that's the reason why it makes our preaching to be balanced. Do you understand? That's the reason why I have to, I quickly come back to that point. Because it's part of my notes. Don't be angry. People be, misbehave. Eh, you, I give them. I will not give again. Ah, Thomas, close here. Bye. You close it both for yourself and for the future. Just ask God for the grace. I pray in the name of Jesus. The understanding of this world will be given more and more to us after this service in Jesus' name. We will understand more of his word in the name of Jesus. It won't just be an ordinary message, but it will have on, uh, interpretation, more interpretation for us to understand in the name of Jesus. I want us to begin to pray that in any area, have been stingy that the enemy have been robbing me oh lord please i'm sorry yes i've been i've been i've been i've been i've been i've been, uh, I've been uh, uh, betrayed yes i'm angry i'm angry because i've done a lot and people are not doing well i'm saying this so that you can confess it to the lord i'm sorry i'm sorry i've forgiven them and from today i will start doing what i'm supposed to do i begin to do more Lord, please help me. I want you to begin to pray. Help me to be able to extend my hand, you know, of fellowship to people. To learn how to give to people freely from my heart. In the name of Jesus. You stingy spirit, I rebuke you. I cast you out of my heart in Jesus' name. I pray that you help me. Help me, oh Lord. In any area, I've been harboring offenses in my heart. Oh Lord, please help me to purify it. Help me to be relieved of bitterness. In the name of Jesus. Help me to walk the walk of faith. And to be able to receive great reward. Thank you because I know you have answered in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. And so our Heavenly Father, will thank you this morning. Thank you for the word that you have sent to us. Thank you because you have been a, living, a loving Father, a faithful God. We ask, oh God, that you help us to come out of everything, that every ditch that the enemy have put us into in Jesus' name. Help us to stand up tall and to flourish in Jesus' name. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Shall we rise on our feet as to begin to share the grace? One, two, three, and let's go. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of